India is actively seeking to modernize its land forces to enhance firepower, combat capability and mobility. To achieve these objectives, New Delhi is exploring the acquisition of 198 advanced armored personnel carriers, essential for bolstering the operational capacities of its motorized infantry, special forces and many units in various challenging terrains, according to Indian defense sources. The United States has already submitted an offer to co-manufacture its Striker armored personnel carrier in India. Russia has countered with its own proposal, offering the boomerang wheeled armored personnel carrier and infantry fighting vehicle, both based on its boomerang unified combat platform. While the current status of negotiations between New Delhi, Washington and Moscow remains undisclosed, Indian defense analysts suggest that this early stage bidding process could invite further international competitors. Given both nations' manufacturing incentives, the United States and Russia are strong contenders, each proposing in-country production under India's Made in India initiative, which promotes self-reliance and local defense manufacturing. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. Before we proceed further, we request our viewers to please subscribe this channel if you have not yet subscribed. If you find the video informative, please like and share the video. Russia's Boomerang APS is a state-of-the-art vehicle designed to deliver superior mobility and crew protection. Outfitted with an advanced fire control system, the Boomerang includes the Palang 15 targeting system, which integrates stabilizers and an automated target tracking system. Equipped with TKN 4GA infrared and daytime optical sensors, the Boomerang enables full day and night operational capability. For added situational awareness, the vehicle features a 1D14 laser rangefinder, allowing commanders to accurately gauge target distances and high precision. Powered by a Kamas 880.10 diesel engine generating 750 horsepower, the Boomerang achieves a top load speed of 100 km per hour and can navigate water at 10 km per hour due to its amphibious design. With a range of 800 km on a full tank, the vehicle is well suited for long missions requiring minimal refueling. Its independent suspension system enhances stability and maneuverability across difficult terrains, an advantage for India's diverse landscape. The Bloomerang is armed with a 30mm 2842 autocannon and a 7.62mm PKTM machine gun, effective against light armor and personnel. It also boasts Cornet anti-tank guided missiles, capable of destroying heavily armored targets at distances up to 5,500 meters. This armament package equips the Boomerang with the firepower and versatility to perform multiple roles on the battlefield. The Boomerang holds some key technical advantages over the US Strikers APS. Notably, its 30mm autocannon provides significantly more firepower than the Strikers standard 12.7mm machine gun. Additionally, Boomerang's integrated anti-tank missiles granted potent anti-armor capabilities absent in the Strikers base model. The Striker, however, is lauded for its border armor which can be adapted to specific mission needs and includes enhanced mine protection. The Striker's advanced command and communication system enables real-time coordination with other units, which aligns with the high-tech demands of modern network warfare. In terms of operational range, the Boomerang's slightly longer endurance offers greater autonomy for extended missions, while the Striker's fuel capacity and energy reserves necessitate more frequent refueling over long distances. Both APCs are designed with different operational priorities in mind. Boomerang emphasizes firepower and mission range, while Striker focuses on survivability and technological integration. Indian defense experts suggest that the Boomerang's terrain adaptability might provide an edge over the Striker in India's diverse geographical conditions. Built with independent suspension and amphibious capabilities, the boomerang is optimized for water crossings and rugged terrain, which are common in India's varied landscapes, including forested and riverine areas. In theory, this adaptability would support Indian forces in complex terrain, enhancing mobility in regions with challenging topography. 
Still, the striker's proven mobility and resilience across varied terrains make it a capable competitor. Tested in desert and mountain environments, the striker is also equipped with advanced protection against improvised explosive devices, crucial for modern warfare. These characteristics could be highly relevant in India's conflict zones, especially along its complex borders where challenging terrain and IED threats are common. Should the final decision come down to Russia and the United States, India will face a tough choice. In similar scenarios, defense decisions often balance certain capabilities over others. However, analysts predict that India's choice will be influenced not just by the vehicle's technical specifications, but by broader strategic and geopolitical considerations. Jai Hind!